Hello YouTube and welcome to your um, second tutorial in Java Beginner Development. Um, and I left off right here uh, in this kind of blank screen which looks pretty boring right now but let's fix that up. Um, so you know let's just get started. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to create a new project and to do that we will do file, go over the new tab and go to project. Uh, normally we would click Java project however many of you will not have this um, because it has not been in your recents yet so what you're going to do is you're going to click project and it'll say select a wizard and we're going to select the Java project wizard and when we do that we are prompted with the Java project wizard um, and we can name the project something like uh, computer or Daniel or banana um, but we're just going to name this one hello world and that's all you need to create a project all these will stay the same and we can just click finish and this will generate our project for you in this little folder um, now if you go inside that folder you will see a little other folder inside of that folder uh, and that is called source src um, and what you can do is we're going to create a new class for source we are going to create a new class and the way I did that is I right clicked on source and I went to new and I selected class and while we're here uh, we can name this class and we will name it main um, and it'll say which method stubs would you like to create and you're going to select public static, static void main and click finish and when we create the project uh, we will be we will have all this automatically generated stuff you can delete all the stuff I just deleted all you really need uh, is this um, and I'll explain what this does pretty much what this does is it creates a method and a method is kind of like a group of code which gets executed at different times um, when you need it and for example this will be executed when the program runs so when you click this little run button all the code which is located in here will be executed and run uh, as of now we don't have any code except for that comment so we don't need to do anything um, so uh, let's get started let's uh, fill this up with something uh, what we're going to do is we're going to print something to the console and the way we do that is we type this tiny little uh, piece of code which is system.out.println and that goes system.out.println parentheses uh, quotations semicolon and this may look pretty lengthy and gross but it's really not it's pretty simple um, the way it works is we're printing something out of the system or computer as a new line and what we're going to print is located within these quotations and the reason we do the parentheses and uh, the semicolon um, is just kind of a, a normal thing you would do for um, certain pieces of code in Java. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's pretty much saying whatever is located within these parentheses print to the console. And the semicolon just ends the statement saying we're done um, with the statement. And what we can do is within these quotations we can write something like this will print to the console and whatever is written in here will print to the console and the console is pretty much a little white box um, down here which you can't see right now because we haven't run the program yet um, but when we do uh, all this text will be printed to the console as if you typed it out which you did um, so to explain it better let's just run the program by clicking this little play arrow which means run let's just click that and it'll say select resources to save and you will click OK now if you see here it says this will print to the console uh, well that pretty much did what we told it to it printed an, uh, it printed this this will print to the console to the console and it made a new line if you look here um, so that's just what we needed um, anyway so that's uh, your first 
part of programming and I think you guys should give yourself a good old pat on the back because even though this might seem simple to some, to others this is a, a big step and you know that's pretty cool, good job. Um, so let's uh, continue with this. Um, so not only can you print a new line to the console, you can also print just a regular line to the console. And what that will do is it won't make this extra little new line down there, it'll actually just continue it right here. So say you had uh, that statement, you could write system out print. Um, this will print also. And here we go. So what this will do is it'll print to the console, this will print to the console, and then right next to it it'll say this will print also. So let's run it. Okay, if you look here, uh, it did just what we told it. It printed the first uh, console command, uh, no, the first uh, system out print to the console, and it printed the second one right next to it because we did not specify a new line. But if we specified a new line, um, system out print lin, it would print a new line to the console. If you see here, uh, the console. Um, is a great way to specify uh, what you're doing in your code. So, for example, if you have a whole database going right here, and then you have a game, and then you have more stuff, and then, I don't know, grocery list, um, and then you're saying, oh, I don't know where I am within this code. Well, what you could do is you could use system out println to specify where you are. So I am in the database section of my code. And you could do that for I'm in the game section of my code, more stuff section, grocery list. And that's just a little example of how console um, comes in handy. And it's pretty much a cool way to um, show what's going on in your program without having to do something visually. Uh, more than just printing some text. And um, that may seem a little confusing right now, and that's completely okay. Um, you will understand it very soon when we start getting into more advanced things. Um, but right now, that's it for the console. Um, and before we go, I'd like to do one more thing for you guys. Um, if you look here, um, I've been using these little slash slash uh, comments. And so pretty much a common comments do is they are not run when you compile. They are not um, compiled when you run your program. So when you run your program this pops up here for you to see but it never actually gets sent anywhere. So if I run this you'll notice that nothing happens. Um, the program run, ran successfully but nothing really happened um, within it, except for just this main method being called with nothing inside. Um, and what's great about comments is you can kind of tell what's going on if you have something really confusing, um, or if you just want to comment out certain lines of code uh, to test different things. Um, so you, these aren't the only types of comments. There's also um, longer comments, which is this, and pretty much what it does is if you have many uh, comments that you need to express in one area uh, on many lines, you can do it with uh, this um, comment, which is easily made. And the great thing about Eclipse is that it'll actually auto-generate this comment for you. So if you just type um, slash asterisk asterisk and then press enter, Eclipse will automatically generate the end of the comment, which is asterisk slash. Um, and yeah, so I think that covers enough for this tutorial. Uh, so we covered um, printing to the console and comments. And um, yeah, so that is the end of tutorial two for the Java beginner um, tutorials. Thanks for watching.